What's happening, horror fans? It's time for the fifth, count them, fifth episode of What the Fuck Did Sir Sturdy Just Watch? <laughs> you gotta tune in to find out. again fifth episode of what the fuck the search story just watched today these are the ones i just watched as a whole i will say the same thing about these three movies fun watches decent horror sci-fi something you'd see on the sci-fi channel definitely all three of them are on amazon prime um i like all three covers a lot and I'll get to that, you know, towards the time when it comes to get to that. But I will say that. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are like all three of them are like horror sci-fi types. And I decided, well, I seen um, Zombies first. Zombies and Zombies 2 first as far as like what popped up today. And I seen Battle Dogs. And I was just like, you know what? These are the three movies I'm going to watch. Why the fuck not? Might as well watch three little animal horror movies, and that's what I did. Animal horror sci-fi. And uh, it's even tough deciding which one I like the best, because they were all... How should I say this? They were all fun to watch. They were all really fun to watch, I'll say that. Um, the CGI for all of them was not the greatest, I'm not mad they use CGI for these movies because I do feel for these type of cheesy movies, it's like whatever. I do, however, wish there was a little bit of practical effects, even if it was just like one or two animals. But it was a lot of CGI in it, uh, which did look good for some parts, but some of it was just too cheesy. I think when it was moving fast and all this stuff, just certain things look cheesy. Like, for example, I'll start out with Battle Dogs. The Battle Dogs, werewolves, or whatever you want to call them, they didn't look so great. They didn't look so great at all to me. They were cool looking ish, but it wasn't like how I wanted them to look. Like this cover, for example, look, if the wolves look like this, I think that would have made it a lot better, but they didn't really look like that. Maybe eh, a little bit, but I don't know. So, again, I'll start with this movie. Um, has a lot of names in there, a lot of big names in there. I mean, as you guys can see up top over here, right here, but it has some good names in there. Um, which I was kind of surprised, but I guess you shouldn't be really. But yeah, I had some names. Again, fun watch. Um, hmm, what can I say? Cool explosions, some cool kills. But the like, there's just certain scenes with kills with blood in all three of these movies where the blood just didn't look good enough for me. It was too CGI-ish, and that alone could have just been practical blood or you know uh shit i mean there's no boobs in any of these movies so that's a downfall um yeah like i said these are like action slash i well i didn't say action but i'll say they're like action sci-fi horror type movies especially this one this one mostly so um huh I guess I'll go on to part two of Z Zomb Zombies. And what I liked about this movie is this movie and this movie here did... No, sorry. This movie here did connect. Hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, there we go. This movie and this movie did connect. And you don't find out till like later. I mean, yes, it's a sequel. But you find out later in one of these movies how they connect, which I thought was really cool, actually. And that kind of bumped the movie up for me, both of these movies. And I think, it's tough to say, but I think I enjoyed this and this a little more than I enjoyed this. 
Not to say that they were like, oh shit, all oh, these were so fucking cool. I want, I can't wait to see them again. I don't see myself watching these three movies again. Only if I was doing a podcast on them, then hell yeah, of course I'd do a podcast and review them. But other than that, not so much. Not to say that they were bad movies. I think that they were not. I don't think they were bad movies. They were like, uh, I'll put them on the okay scale. Again, if you want to see me rate these movies or hear me rate these movies or rate these movies with me, leave a comment below. Hey, I want to, you know, I want to review one of these movies or I want to review all three or whatever. I would like to see you and your team review one of these or all three or whatever the case may be. And we will. So, yeah, that's a, that's my thoughts on all three of these, all three of these movies. Um, I feel like I like Zom. Oh, zombies. Two may be a little bit better than one, but at the same time, I feel like I like the one. You know what? I'm going to say those two movies are a tie as far as what I liked. Those movies are a tie because the way they connect. Those movies are a tie. I'll say that. And then there's Battle Dogs. Now, let's go with the cases. The cases, the cases, the cases. This is one that I thought about. Again, I say this all the time. It was tough for me to choose to an extent. But then once I really looked, I was like, all right, I already know what my favorite one is. I know what my favorite one is. And then it was like, okay. So, case number three is this one right behind me. Zombies 2. It was tough. It was close. This was almost one or two. Like, these could have went either way, honestly. But then when I looked at them more and I thought about it more, I'm like, you know what? The rhino and the tiger is kind of a cool mix, but it doesn't really, like, the face-up, which you guys are going to, which you guys can see, doesn't really match up too well for me, like how, you know, the other ones do. So, yes, that is number three for me. Number two is Battle Dogs. Cover looks cool. Cover looks great. You know, a battle dog, the city, cool. You got the paws on the side of the building, cool. But it just, really cool, actually, don't get me wrong. But it just, uh, it couldn't be number one, though. It couldn't be number one, Battle Dogs, which there's nothing wrong with that. And as you guys can see, it's a cool-ass fucking cover, but I just feel this one is the best fucking cover, hands down, after I really, really thought about it. And yes, all three of these I would wear on a shirt, but this would definitely be my number one option. All three of these would definitely go on a shirt. Definitely they would. This is just so fucking cool. The way it's just matched up with the uh, gorilla and the lion. The way they did it. They, it was. This is like a... This right here is another 10 cover. Another perfect cover, in my opinion, to where you're just like, holy shit. This cover is fucking awesome as hell. The movies didn't live up to the covers, but the... What do you expect? I mean, I was going for cheesy, a cheese fest shit show, you know, all that good stuff. But, I mean, hey, they're worth a one-time watch. Again, if you want to see titties, this isn't the movie. Um, But check them out. I definitely say check them out. I don't necessarily recommend them. I would never steer you away from a horror movie. Even if I talk a bunch of shit about it, I still say you should, I guess, check it out. Watch at your own risk. These are a little bit higher than watch at your own risk. They don't get the search 30 stamp of approval. But if it was for the covers, if I did it for the covers, this one definitely fucking gets it. Hands down, that one gets it. That being said, I have no more shit to say about either one of these movies. So I'll go into this. I have a Facebook group called Horror with Sir Sturdy. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related. Join the group. Even your own projects, podcasts, YouTube channels, Twitch channels, all that. Indie movies, all that. As long as it's horror, it's welcome. If it's not horror, it's going to get deleted. Just join in the conversations, you know, start some horror conversations. All that fun stuff. Horror-related conversations, memes, videos, all that stuff. Again, horror-related, Horror Research 30 group. I have a Horror Research 30 page to where I will be dropping my podcast on there. And videos like this, but that'll go on the page and the group, as I always say. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Updates, when there's updates as far as cons or whatever the case may be. It'll all be on there on the page. So please give that page a like. Give that group a join. And then there's Twitch. Horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. There's a 
pretty good possibility I'll be playing late Sunday night. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I'll know. I'll know Sunday. I'll know Sunday at, cer at a certain point. Sunday I'll know, and I'll make a post about it. When I make posts about when I'm gaming and stuff, we'll be on the page. And that's where my link will be for you guys to go click there and watch it, which I'll possibly share that in the group once I'm gaming. But as far as, like, announcements of me gaming, we'll be on the page. Then we can jump over to YouTube, my YouTube channel, Horror with Search 30. If you're seeing this video, you should know. But if not, Horror with Search 30. And you'll get videos like this, plus podcasts and other all kinds of horror content videos, random stuff. I'm sure I'll think of another segment eventually. Um, what else? What else? Let's see where you can listen to Horror Research Study podcast. Anywhere you can listen to podcasts, you can hear this. You can hear me. Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Again, Joe Budden's leaving, but I'm not. And everywhere else that you can listen to podcasts, you should hear me. Sprinkle down into the other smaller ones. If you ever want to be on an episode with me, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.sturdy. Again, that's horrorwithsir.sturdy at gmail.com. And, again, come on here, review a movie. Um, if you're in the horror industry, you know, come on for an interview, talk some horror, have some laughs. You know, all that fun horror stuff. I believe that is it. Oh, one more thing. I am not dropping an episode tomorrow. I'm going to wait till next Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Because I'm switching things up. I'm going to start, like with these videos, I'm going to have them drop at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. This video you're watching right now will be a premiere for 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The What the Fuck the Search 30 Just Watch. My podcasts that come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays will be dropping Tuesdays and Thursdays audio, midnight still, audio only. But the video will be dropping Tuesdays and Thursdays at about 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Just to change things up. So be on the lookout for that as well. And I'll be dropping a video right after this. I'll be coming out at about 8.30. You guys should tune in to see what that is. And, uh, you know, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. Please keep it coming. Share these, share all this stuff. The horror is our sturdy. Fend with your friends, your family, your enemies, whoever. Neighbors, strangers co-workers, anybody that's in the horror. With that being said, as always, I'll see you in your nightmares. <sighs> Drink some, bitches.